Hello everyone and welcome back to... I almost said Digimon. Welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. I almost said welcome back to Digimon Insurgents. That would have been incredibly incorrect. I was recording Digimon like an hour ago. But anyways, I haven't changed around the team and a couple of them are dead or nearly dead. But I think we're done here for today. Next up on the list is the Azure Flute quest. At least that's how it's listed down in the Pokemon Insurgents post-game wiki that I use. So we're gonna go do it next. Which, to begin it, I believe all we need to do is make our way over to the Perfection Base. So that's where we're headed now. Get to the nearest town, and then we will be on our way. Hopefully there's a town right through here. This is not a town. This is a crossroads. This is where the Lucario place is, isn't it? No, maybe not. Never mind. That's one more route back. Yeah, before Vipic, which is where we are right now. I think that taxi guy is not over here, actually. I thought he was down here at the right, but he is not. Where is my taxi man? I have need of his taxi. There he is. Sup, dude? I need to go to Helios. Yeah, Helios. That sounds right. To Helios we go. All right then. So now that we're here, we will take the quick path into the perfection base and then see what's gonna happen from there. Hey, it's it's Damien. Listen, I'm still I'm still sorting through all my memories from when I was weird, I'm trying to piece together what happened, you know. And just today, well, I heard there was a nasty storm in Maelstrom Nine. There are some things I remember about that place. Nothing super clear, but oh yeah, you like killed your mother there, or let your mother be killed there. I need to see for myself. It would mean the world to me if you'd come with. I might need help with whatever's causing the storms, too. Yeah, whatever. We'll help you later, I guess, even though I still don't like Damien. But today is the Azure Flute quest. Which means we're gonna be dealing with Rukra again, I assume, because Tan gave him the Azure Flute. Can I still not get in here? Still can't get in here, man. I'm starting to think that you're, like, never supposed to get back in there at all. I did not heal my Pokemon, did I? Rip in the finest of rips. I'm just gonna hold M really quick and get back and heal. I meant to heal as soon as I got out of the Pika Taxi because he deposited me at a Pokemon Center, but holding M, we can rectify this mistake pretty quickly. If I can remember where the Pokemon is, it's right here. This place is huge. Heal me up. Thank you. We're gonna be using the same team that we used last time for the Azure Flute quest. I assume this quest will probably take us two, two sessions. Unless it is just really quick, I don't know. It's gonna have something to do with Arceus, I'm sure. Why else would it be about the Azure Flute? But we'll see. But after this quest is done, before we do whatever the next quest is, I will switch it back around. There is an item. There's a small note inside. Gone to have one last chance. The entrance seems to be in Amphitrite City. R. Okay, so I need to go to Amphitrite City then. What's the- why is this a different color? Has that always been like that, maybe? I wish that I would have realized that I was just gonna have to read a note. I would have come down here, read the note, and then gone and healed, but... The past is the past. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. What will be, will be. Hindsight is 2020, etc., etc., so on, so forth. So we're off to Amphitrite then. Is this a town where the Pika Taxi guy is at the bottom right? I think it is. Is he over here? Hopefully. Does not appear to be so. Where is this nerd? Oh yeah, he is down here, kind of at the bottom right. More like just the bottom middle, but whatever. Bottom middle right-ish. So we gotta go to Amphitrite. Alright, we're here now. All it said was that Rukra was going here for one last chance in some kind of, uh, entrance. But what does that mean? Well, I mean, if we're in Amphitrite, the only thing in Amphitrite, other than that giant TV screen, that really means anything is the Crystal Cave where the Timeless were. So maybe I need to go down to where the Timeless are at. I'm gonna look around the city first and see if anything comes up. This is the way out to the route, isn't it? 
Yeah, Route 15. I don't care about that. We might need to go to the Timeless Cave again for like the eighth time. I highly doubt that I need to go in the gym. That'd be really weird. I would sooner think, uh, oh, there's a Master Ball right there. How dare you, game? Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Delta Shuckle for a Bulbasaur. I don't want a Delta Shuckle. What do I look like? I want this Master Ball so I can have another one. Because I've only got one right now. I had to use one on Zygarde. I think we need to go check out the Timeless Cave. That's probably where it wants me to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna make that assumption and hope that I'm not about to waste a ton of my time. Repels. Oh, I had 69 of them, now I'm at 68. I should have just kept it to 69. If you have 69 repels, then enemy Pokemon can never attack you ever. That's how it works. That's the law of the internet. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna hold M because we've gone into the Timeless Cave so many times. Like a ridiculous amount. We've been through this pathway at least four times. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I thought I got to that with Rock Climb, but I don't have... Maybe it has to do something with this. Do I need... Does Catching Meloetta give me some kind of new ability on Mew or something that lets me mess around with those Hieroglyphs? Because we've seen those Hieroglyphs, like, all over the place. do do do, -do Tesseract. Hold him. Whoops. We're gonna go right here. And do it right again. Nice. This is where we fought Jaren, isn't it? Yeah, right here is where we beat Jaren for the last time. Why am I getting a phone call? People always trying to call me while I'm in the middle of recording. Does this puzzle normally look like this? Oh, it was easy. Never mind. I was confused for a second there. I wasn't entirely sure what to do. I stopped holding in because we're basically at the end of the tunnel already. Has there always been lava here? Maybe I haven't been here as much as I thought. Repels effect wore off. I will definitely use another one. Uh, no, this was definitely not like this before because I can't get to where the timeless were. This used to be water. This is the this hoopa hole over here. This takes me to uh to the place where we fought Giratina to the uh, reverse world, the or the thing that leads to the reverse world. Did he go in here? How would he have gotten in here though? He doesn't have a hoopa. But he said an entrance, and this is an entrance. Oh, Dawn is here. Why are you here? He's become too powerful. I couldn't take him down. Did Rukra beat all of the Timeless? I forgot that we have this pretty good music here. Pokemon Mansion. It's been a minute since we've done this. There's a Pokeball. Hello? A strange flute melody echoes in the distance. Oh, the Azure Flute. Okay, so this is where I was supposed to go. Good. Uh, why is there a Salamence here? Zero Flute Emergency Defense System would like to battle? What? That's a level 95 Salamence. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, sir. I wish I had a, uh... I'm just gonna hard into Rogue. I wish I had a, uh, Rock-type move right now. That wasn't Stealth Rock, obviously. Uh, you're Mega Salence. I was actually looking at the text message I got from the person who tried to call me for a second there, so I wasn't looking, but now I see you're Mega Salence and I'm scared. I am not immune to flying, but I am immune to dragon. Or at least I don't think I'm immune to flying. I never know anymore. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, the flying is actually super effective against me. Why is flying super effective against me? Your guess is as good as mine, but it is. Thank goodness all that recoil. Why is flying super effective against me? It doesn't make sense. I mean, like, honestly, just take me down, I'll heal him up after. Oh, I outspeed you, even better. But you have, like, crazy good defense as a mega, I think, so you might live. No, you're not. We're good. Alright, so I guess I can add flying. I'm weak to flying, ice, and fire. I'm, for some reason, immune to steel. Alright, well, we defeated the security system, I guess. The mysterious flute echoes louder. Rukro must be summoning... Summoning, uh, Arceus right now. Probably all the way back at the... At the end. What was that called? 
where I fought Nyx. I think her name was Nyx. Can I get to that Pokeball? There are two Pokeballs over there that I can't get to. Unfortunate. It's like the it was throne of something, but I don't remember what it's called. Whatever. How? How is it possible? The flute he has, the power it gives him is unreal. Yeah, there's another member of the... Hello there. Another member of the whatchamacallsit. The Timeless. So Rukra did defeat all of the Timeless. This is how you get over these Pokeballs. Gimme. Genius Wing. I don't know what the heck that is. Rare Candy. Sure. Why is this Rare Candy not the normal... Like, they have a texture for Rare Candy in this game. I've seen it. What is a Genius Wing, though? Where is it? Reveal glass, hiking boots, magic carpet, peek a pad, book of leaves, old photos, scuba gear, poke a flute. Oh, it's a medicine. An item for use on a Pokemon, it slightly increases the base special attack stat of a single Pokemon. Oh. That's like stupid. Like OP stupid. But whatever. Is this where I need to go? This takes me further in, I think. We're in Narigex Forest now, whatever that is. What member of the Timeless was that that we just talked to? Was that Suzerain, I think? The guy who made the game? I will definitely use another repel, you best believe. The Cave of Origin. Ah, Steven. I've been hearing that flute echo through the caverns for hours. What is he playing? What could such a powerful artifact do? Yeah, some Zarcius, my dude. I can, uh, rock climb here. This is a Meloetta thing. Oh, thank goodness I saw this. We're gonna get this done, then. In case I decide to do the Meloetta stuff, we'll only have uh, three more pieces to get. Plus, I like this music anyway. It's not as good as the Dream World music, but it's pretty good. Alright, so like... The first order of business is get the corner pieces where they belong. Yeah, so like, get that there. This needs to keep going this way. Just focus on one corner piece at a time. Don't even look at the other pieces you're moving. Just get a corner piece where it belongs. There we go. Okay. Two corner pieces where they go, and that actually belongs there, so try and leave that there if I can. Oh, wow. I've got, like, all of the top left corner done. I'd like to leave that if I could. But again, the main focus is these corner pieces, above all else. There we go. Okay. Very good. I am having to mix up that, like, top left stuff I had going on that I liked. But I want to get this top piece where it belongs as well. I should be able to mix it around here and make it work. I think. There's, like, a very correct way to do this, and I don't do it the correct way, but, uh, it'll work out eventually. I think I just did it. Okay, all of the top is correct. I think. Yeah, should be. Let's get these corner pieces over here. Or these side pieces, I mean. Where is the... Oh, that's right. The bottom right is the last... It's the one that's missing. So I don't have a bottom corner, a bottom right corner piece. Right, right, right. I want to just get this over here where it belongs. Right there. Awesome. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Am I done? No, this piece isn't where it goes. Did I do it? No, this piece... Wait a minute, where does this one go? Right there? No, I think I have those two in the bottom middle switched. No, that one right there. Okay, I see. This one. This one is wrong. This one goes right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now I, I see where I was mixed up before. I'm kind of just moving pieces around fairly randomly right now to try and get it set up right. Whoops. Is this gonna work? Maybe? Aha, uh -huh. okay. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing right now.
Okay, you got that where it goes. But this piece isn't down here where it belongs. Ah, uh, these things always confuse me so greatly. I normally get them done, but it takes a while. I can only imagine that the comments are yelling at me right now. I hate this. <laughs> I, t I don't know where I'm where I'm messing up where, that I can fix. That goes there. But I, I gotta get the Meloetta face where it goes. Which is right there. And that, that goes that goes there. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Maybe I can fix this from here. No, that's a bottom piece right there. I gotta get that down somehow. Okay. If I just had that one at the bottom right, right here, I'd have it. What is this, like, calming ocean waves are passing over me right now? Oh my goodness, I can't get this one at the bottom where it goes. Let's do this. Wait a minute. This might work. This might work. Cycle it through this a little bit. Ah. What's wrong here? The two in the middle, in the, like, the bottom. Okay, yeah, I see. I see. I see what's wrong. If only I knew how to rectify it. <laughs> Oh, I did it. I did it. There we go. Oh, man. That was a little rough. I don't think I took more than five minutes tops on that. That's not too bad. So that gives us five mysterious scrolls. I'm only missing three. So I think we'll definitely probably do the Meloetta thing if I'm only missing three of them. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out where they're at. I know that the one that's in the, uh, the Giratina Void Gauntlet thing, I know that I have that one, so I don't have to worry about it. Good old Pokemon Village. Get me out of here. Pokemon Village is from Gen 6, isn't it? You can catch Mewtwo in this cave up here to the right, in X and Y. Wait a minute, I can go up that uh, waterfall there. Is there something up there that I might want? I don't think I had Waterfall when I was here last. I definitely didn't, because I got Waterfall in the Holon region. Aha! Chatotite. Okay, there's a Mega Chatot in this game. I'll probably never see it, but whatever. I'm not a huge fan of Chatot anyway. Chatot, Chatot, whatever. Alright, Unknown Dungeon, not bad. What the? The flute melody takes on a haunting tune. Something very ancient is stirring. Oh, it's gonna summon another defense thing. Oh, this time it's a Gudra. I can earthquake a Gudra. So I won't have to switch this time. Sup, level 95 Gudra. How you doing? Seems like they're using pseudo-legendaries. So let me think here. We've already fought two of the dragon pseudo-legendaries. The only pseudo-legendaries that aren't dragon are Gar... Not Garchomp. Garchomp is a dragon. Uh, Tyranitar. And... There's another one. Metagross. And then the others are... They are that I haven't already fought. I'll say them in a second, don't worry. Hydrogen. Oh wow, I crit. Hydrogen, Garchomp, and Dragonite. I think it would be better to put someone who is not Flappy in the lead for this then. The Mysterious Flute echoes eerily. But at the same time, if I get to like a trainer, like if I get to Rukra and I have to fight Rukra again, I want to be able to Stealth Rock turn one. Because that's a huge advantage to get Stealth Rocks up. So yeah, never mind. We're just going to keep with Donphan then. These defense systems only ever have one Pokemon, it seems, so it's not that hard to beat them. We've talked to three members of the Timeless. How many Timeless members were there? Nine of them, counting red. Am I going to... Have I... I hope I haven't missed any of them. Am I already at another defense system? The melody begins to feel unsettling. A powerful presence seems to surround the area. Okay. 
Oh, hey, Gothitelle, you're not a pseudo-legend at all. What are you doing here? Azure Flute Emergency Defense System is activated. I'm going to assume that you have an item, and I'm going to go for knockoff. Oh, yeah, you do have an item, but it's not an item that I can knock off. Rip. Unfortunate. This will still do some damage, but not as much as I wanted. Actually, I have to sit around and do nothing for a good while when you're, uh... Oh, that's right, you're not weak to dark in this form. I don't remember why, though. I think it's because you're psychic dark? I don't know. Someone told me about Gothitelle's ability once. I think it had some kind of an ability that stopped something from being super effective or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a long time. We killed it anyways. Who cares? Alright, cool. The mysterious flute echoes eerily, so I've heard. Let's just keep on going, then. I do really love this Void Gauntlet, how it's set up with all of these areas, especially since Citadark Isle made it in. I love Citadark Isle. Cynthia! He tore through me and my team. If you fight him, this might be your toughest challenge yet, Chaos. Oh dear. I probably don't have the most optimal team set up for that. But whatever, I'll make it work. I love Citadark Isle. I can't wait to play through it again. Love me some XD Gale of Darkness. We're in the giant chasm. This is where Kyurum is at, normally. Wasn't able to do this before, but now I can. Get this item. DNA Splicers. Nice. I don't have Kyurum, but I do have Zekrom and Reshiram. I just have to figure out where to catch Kyurum from. The thing was... Now it's not. Now it's glitched to the top left. The crystal thing is still... Or not the crystal thing, but the portal thing is still right there at the top left a little bit. That's weird. I remember that happening before when we went through here. Spear Pillar! Why didn't I meet Cynthia here? That would have made way more sense. There's also another rock climb thing to do here. It's a good thing I came back. There's nothing up here, though. Why? That's annoying. The Hall of Legends. Not defense system again. The strange flute melody rises to a deafening roar. Okay. Who is it this time? What? This only happens when a legendary is summoned. Is this defense system summoning a legendary Pokemon? It looks like it's summoning two of them. Palkia and Dialga! Hey, how's it going? This actually makes sense, because we're going towards Arceus. Is there a Fluid Emergency Defense System would like to battle? Let's go. It's a double battle, looks like. Yep. Alright, level 95 Dialga and Palkia, no big deal. Thank goodness the Rogue was my second. Alright, Master of the Distortion World against the Master of Space and Time. Also, Dawn Fan is here. Oh, this is perfect, though. Rogue should be immune to ground, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna Earthquake and hit Dialga hard. Uh, should I double? No, I should Dragon Claw Palkia. Megadon fan is just as good as a legendary Pokemon, no problem. This music is so good. The music in this game is phenomenal. I love it. Thankfully, Rogue is the fastest Pokemon here. Oh my goodness, so close. It dies to EQ. If Flappy can live this Hydro Pump and then whatever Dialga goes for. Oh, rip in the finest of rip. Dawnpan, I believed in you. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm immune to steel for reasons that I don't even fully comprehend. Uh, da -da -da -da. You know what? Go sun? No, this was a stupid idea, actually, because I was going to earthquake this turn. I was going to fake out you and kill it. You know what? It's fine. Sun, you know, you're a, you're a bit of a sacrificial pawn here, but, you know, it's worth it. You'll probably maybe live in earthquake. We'll see. Live, son, live. He actually lived. How about that? I'm pretty sure that I can't catch either of these because it's uh, the defense system, like, sent them out. I think that means they count as trainers Pokemon. Yeah, the faux Palkia, not wild. So I'm pretty sure that I can't catch them. 
Right, we should be good now. Dragon Claw should kill. Or a Spear probably has a better shot. Nice. Well done, son. You tanked that EQ like a champ. Good monkey. It's kind of weird that they have power up punch go through even though the match is over. Yeah, I think that counts as a trainer, and I got money from it. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have caught them. The mysterious flute echoes louder. Sure it does. I thought it was already deafening, though. I'm going to assume that I'm not going to get a chance to heal, and therefore I'm going to... Well, let's go a little bit further and see if I get a chance to heal or not. I'll save the game. If I run into a fight, then I will reset and heal. Throne of the Hegemon. The Hegemon is what it was called. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go in here and Rooker is gonna be in here, so I'm actually just gonna heal. How much time do I have? I'm just at 26 minutes. I mean, like, we'll probably have some cutscenes to go through in here, but I think whatever's in here we can get done in, like, 5 to 10 minutes. We might go a little over today, but that's fine. We might actually finish this side quest today. I thought it might take two sessions. Looks like it might only take one. Save again. Yeah, cool. This is where I caught Giratina. Good times. Oh, look who it is. I shouldn't be surprised you showed up. You have a knack for always appearing when exciting things are happening. I'm going for broke, Chaos. This is probably the most extreme thing I've ever done. I have the Azure Flute, the key to the land where Arceus itself sleeps. I'm about to sneeze. Oh! Oh, I apologize for that. I don't know how Tan stumbled across such an incredible artifact, but I'm thankful he didn't know how to use it. Could you imagine the disaster the world would be with Arceus under his control? But me, on the other hand, everything I've done has been in search of perfection. From the original dragon, to Mewtwo, to Delta Species, to Armors. They've all fallen short. Nothing was as perfect as I needed it to be. Have you tried creating an android from the cells of the greatest fighters in the universe, and then having him absorb two other androids with infinite energy? I hear that that does pretty well for getting towards perfection. The legends say Arceus created the universe. The strongest Pokemon of all time. I was going to leave Torn forever, but the opportunity to see Arceus outweighs anything else. As I'm sure you know, the domain of a legendary Pokemon is tied to its artifact. It's how Audrey brought the World Islands to Tor Torin. Words. All I had to do was play the flute. I sounded terrible. I'm no musician. But it seems to have done the trick. Finally, after many years, Arceus is awakening. Ha 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 ha! I'll be unstoppable. Undefeatable! The power of Arceus will be mine. You want to battle, Chaos? Really? Kid, I don't think you get it. Do you really think that if you win, I'll just leave? No. I refuse to be stopped. I'll crush you, and together with the strongest Pokemon of all, show the world exactly what true perfection is. All right, you gotta fight Rukra. Oh, I forgot about his eyes. Oh, that's scary. All right, he's also still champion Rukra, and he led with his level 100. Oh my goodness, we might actually have to come back after I do some level grinding. This is gonna be rough. Hopefully, he doesn't set up Stealth Rock. But I'm going to set up Stealth Rock, absolutely. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Don't you dare defense drop me. Good. Oh, the music, though. Oh, the music is so good. EQ this fool. It's got Dragon Dance. Send Hep. I should still be able to live a crunch, even with him at plus one. So I just need to two-hit KO here. Which I should, because Flappy is strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good, no worries. This is gonna hurt, but I should live one. If he doesn't crit, yeah. I actually lived it even better than I thought I would. All right, this is fine, one for one. Except when he sends out that Volcarona, I'm gonna need like to throw five Pokemon at it to be able to beat it. Level 99. Gudra, okay. Gudra has enough moves that it can probably hit Rogue super effectively. If it has Ice Beam or Fire Blast, then it can. So I'm gonna have Mare take care of this. Thankfully, he did not get up Stealth Rocks. His, uh... Oh, no, it's... It's this. That's right. I caught a Delta Gumi. Uh... I'm gonna assume your Water Ground. Which is bad for me, but I think I can call mine beat you. Oh, no. That's bad. But it's fine. I can make it work. Flappy is still alive, and Flappy can beat him. This gives me a free Calm Mind, too, so that's good. It definitely is Water Ground, because it's not getting hit by by the thing. Sandstorm. 
Why did you lose that HP? Oh yeah, Stealth Rock did 6% because you're ground. You resisted it. Yeah, this is gonna hurt, but since you let me get to plus two, I think I'm safe. Yep, if I was not at plus two, I would not be safe. At all. But since I am, I can actually take two of them. Perfect. I just have to never get crit. And I outspeed you, which is wonderful. Uh, your water ground, so ice is neutral to you. Ice beam is my best bet. That's gonna do nothing, even if you do crit. Thankfully, you didn't get the poison on me. His Volcarona is a special attacker. So Mare might actually be able to beat it if uh, I can go through his entire team. The problem is, though, is that that T-Tar will outspeed and kill me. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm actually going to use this opportunity to heal back to full. And I should actually, absolutely, while I'm chewing hits, and it can't really hurt me, use this opportunity to heal Flappy to full. I have like 30 full restores, I'm pretty sure, so I should be okay even with uh, using all these items. Now I can heal up to full. Yeah, even if I do run out of max potions in this fight, I have enough full restores that will be fine. I didn't realize I'd be fighting Rukra again. I should have put together a better team. You crit me. I'm actually, like, incredibly mad. I, I can't even begin to describe how mad I am right now that that just happened. Why? No, you're not. No, soft reset. Soft reset. I was thinking, like, it's a Gudra sitting out the fairy type. It's Delta Gudra. I'm actually mad that you crit me there. Like, screw off with that. I'm the holding M. Until I'm back to that exact point. That was infuriating. Will you stop talking, please? There needs to be a skip cutscene button in this game. I can't believe I just got hacked out of a really good start to this fight. I want as much damage as possible, so I am still setting up. Oh no, we DD'd first this time! Ah! Oh, I still, it still doesn't 2 a KO me, so we're fine then. As long as I don't get crit! Honestly, good. I would love for you to use up all of your full restores on this T-Tar. You're not gonna full restore at that damage, I got a low roll. What on earth am I looking at? I hit it! What is this thing? Obviously, it's a Delta Yon Mega, but like... Is it- I hit it? with Earthquake, but it resisted? Is it Ground Dragon? Or not Ground, Grass Dragon, I meant to say. Uh, jeez, I have just Loki? If it is Grass Dragon? Oh, it has Hurricane, but it missed, so it's fine. Does Sandstorm lessen Hurricane, or is it only Sunny Day that lessens Hurricane accuracy? Doesn't matter. Uh, I should definitely live any one hit. I mean, like... See, the thing is, is... You're not flying. Because I hit you with EQ. No, wait, I have Irrelevant. I hit Flying types, so you're probably Grass Flying. Okay, so Flamethrower, then. I'll, I'll know what type you are off of this. If it's neutral, then you're Dragon Grass. If it's super effective, you're Grass Flying. Grass Flying, okay. I'm so glad I caught that. I was about to Moon Blast. Oh, and IO Code, even better. That was a perfect turn for me. Alright, cool. Gudra. Okay, this is Water Ground Gudra. I don't have my grass type. That's really unfortunate. Uh, Mare is still my best option, I think. As long as I don't get crit on Earth Power. Use your max revive on that Yon Mega that I can Oko with Loki. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Really hope that's your only max revive. But plus one, I can definitely take one Earth Power. I'm gonna get to plus two because I outspeed you, I remember now. I know that I'm not gonna sweep from here. I should get to plus four so I can take Earth Powers better than I did just there. And then I should just heal up Dawn Fan and then kill this thing. And just hope I don't get crit. As long as I don't get crit, we're fine. If I get crit, then we're in a bad spot. Chew this. Absolutely chewed. I'm pretty sure I have to heal. No, I should be able to take one after a Calm Mind. Yeah, live life on the edge. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I soft reset because I die? I was really hoping you wouldn't even bother using Earth Power. Oh, yes. Thank goodness I calculated that right. And by calculated it, I mean I guesstimated. Oh, this is kind of unfortunate. I have to heal Mare and then I heal Flappy. Don't you dare crit me, I swear. Okay, good. 
Still taking pretty big damage from Earth Powers, but that's fine. I want Flappy at full because he is my easy answer to T-Tar. Ice Beam is going to do literally nothing. I might get more health back than I lost there. I did. I gained like 4 HP in that turn. Sick. Alright, now I'm not going to bother setting up anymore. I'm just going to kill you. I'm not going to Oko because you're a Gudra, even if I'm a plus 4. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to have to hit you two more times. Wow. That I'm not going to recover as much as I lost, but that's fine. I can still take an Earth Power. That's all that matters. Crit. Crit, crit. I deserve it after last match. I didn't get a crit. I swear if you crit me. Good. Pretty sure you're gonna heal here. Part of me wants to set up another Calm Mind, but you might not heal something nice. But yeah, you didn't heal. Good choice on my part. Maybe should have healed, but that's just asking to be crit. Mewtwo, that's scary. Mewtwo should be a special attacker, right? I'm gonna try and stay in. It's level 107. Why? Okay, I'm going to heal here, hope that you're a special attacker, not a physical attacker or a mixed attacker, and then just tank the hit and start beating you. This is going to hurt. Wow. Wow, okay. Wait, how did... What is... Hold up, hold up. I got to look up the definition of Psy Strike. Psy Strike. Like, I, I want to know. Let me see here. Psy Strike... Damage dealing psychic type move. Let me see here. Effect and description. Psy Strike inflicts physical damage. Oh, that's why. It's like Psy Shock. I thought that it was just like Psycho Boost, but without the Spatak drop. Yeah, that's why. That's why it does so much. Okay. Okay. That was foolish of me then. Pretty sure the only Pokemon that has Psy Strike is Mewtwo, so I don't run into it very often. But it, it doesn't matter if it hits the physical defense because I'm immune to it now. I think. I hope. What type are you? I don't even remember. Are you Psychic Dark? I have no... I didn't want the bag. I have no idea what type you are. I'm just going to hit you with... Uh... There's no way you're normal, so I can Shadow Force you. That's going to be super effective. Even though it shouldn't be. But I should chew one. Because I'm, yeah, bulky. Nice. You're going to lose some Life Orb. Hopefully this is super effective. Even if it's neutral, it should do a lot of damage. I can stall him out of Ice Beams if I really need to. It is neutral. Okay, I think you're Psychic Dark then. Oh, I was really hoping for the kill there, to be honest. No, I can just Life Orb kill you if you don't have any more healing. Which hopefully you don't. Yep, he's out. And he tried to use Side Strike, which I'm immune to, so he's guaranteed dead this turn. I'm actually... I want him to die to Life Orb Recoil. I'm going to revive Mare. I'll want Mare for the, um, the thing. The Volcarona. I need to be able to heal my team where I think I can. Because this is a rough fight. Rukra is not easy to beat. So here I have to heal Rogue or else I lose him. And losing Rogue is like the worst possible thing that could happen. Heal me up. Oh, Omni-type, I wish that you had been better programmed. It would make this so much easier on me if I wasn't weak to ice. Okay, but he died. Rogue lived. Mare is at, like, half health, which is good enough. Can heal them more later. The Bisharp. Yeah, Flappy can take on a Bisharp. What's up? Level 106. Holy cow. Calm down, Rukra. Oh, you're Mega. That's bad. And even if you're Mega, I should be able to live any one hit. My defense stat is great. Oh, that's... Have I seen that before? That looks awesome. I don't remember seeing this before. Sucker Punch is going to do a lot, but I should tank it, and EQ will do a ton back. Oh, it did nothing. Never mind. Bisharp is actually trash, even as a Mega. Oh, it lived. How dare it. I'm actually going to heal this turn, hope that he sucker punches again, and then I'll get out of this with more... Actually, no. I can absolutely use this opportunity to heal everyone back up to full. Let's get my full team back to full health. Much better idea. Yep. Genius. Can't touch this. I'm so glad I thought ahead. 
There. Now everyone except Flappy is going to be at max HP. Beautiful. Knockoff is going to do some damage, but I'm a Mega, so it won't do much. Wow, that did more than Sucker Punch. That doesn't make sense. Or at least I, I'm... Yeah, that definitely did more than Sucker Punch. Why? Sucker Punch is should be doing more. Unless this game is programmed incorrectly, and me having a Mega Stone counts as me holding an item when it sh should not. I'm going to knockoff kill you to save my, like, four PP left that I have in uh, that move in EQ. Goodbye, Bisharp. I love your design, but you're apparently still trash. I mean, normal Bisharp is pretty strong, but it's, like, really a one-trick pony. Okay, this is the Grassion Mega. Loki can kill this in one hit. Stop, Yanma. Yeah, that's like 25% from South Rocks. You're grass flying. You did hit the hurricane, which upsets me. Don't you dare confuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Holy cow. Hurricane is strong, but still. I mean, like, Mare is the best option then after Loki. To Ice Beam this fool. Can you stop hitting hurricanes, please? Jeez, that did so much. Just get out of here. I don't even want to play any games with you. Four times super effective noise. Definitely grass flying, as expected. There's no way hurricanes are doing that much damage without stab, even if they are hurricanes. T-Tar. Sadly, I can't really mess around with T-Tar. I can't try and get any healing or anything done, is what I'm saying. But I can kill you with an EQ, and I'm honestly just hoping that I outspeed you. I disagree with me being hit by Sandstorm when I have Omni-type, but whatever, game. Alright, you're dead. All that's left is that stupid, uh, whatchamacallit. The Volcarona. Yep, there it is. Okay. I mean, like... What can I really hit it with is Rogue. It's, if I remember right, it's Poison Dark, I think? So I guess just Dragon Clawing it. Yeah, let's just go for it. Hopefully I'm immune to whatever moves it goes for. It's only level 105. That's pretty good. It's got that armor on and everything. Which means it's super bulky. The Sandstorm damage is really helpful. Rukra should be out of healing things, so we have that going for us. But I don't remember if this thing has Roost or not. If it has Roost, that's one less coverage move it can hit me with, I guess. That did plenty of damage. It does have Giga Drain. Oh, that's right. I'm immune to grass as well, for reasons I don't fully comprehend. I might be immune to all of his moves, to be honest, because I'm immune to poison, and I'm immune to dark. No, I'm not immune to dark. There is nothing that's immune to I might be immune to dark. I honestly don't remember. No, I'm not immune to dark, but it's neutral to me. Yep. We got this in the bag. Thank you, Crystal Giratina, for giving me the answer to this Volcarona that gave me nightmares in the Pokemon League. We did it! Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, man. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? Huh. I still can't seem to take you down. No matter, my plan hasn't changed. Arceus is nearly awake. This is it. This is the moment I've waited my entire life for. Uh, is it, is it gonna show up? Ah, here it is. The mighty Arceus. Oh, wow. It's just a single circle. Yeah, it's, it's making a lot of noise. Arceus, the perfect Pokemon. I have one Master Ball left. You're mine. No, don't let him Master Ball you. What? Why isn't it working? Master Balls don't work on him? Ah, ah. I want that Master Ball. Even if it's faulty. Yo, what's up? What if the crystal shards from your bag disappeared in a white light? Uh, excuse me? I disagree. A level 105 Arceus just jacked my crystal piece? My Pokemon didn't get healed? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the third crystal Pokemon. What on earth? It's part Giratina now? I... Oh, no. This is... Uh, this is bad. I gotta, like... I gotta fight you crystal to crystal is the only way I know I'm getting out of this. Flappy, I'm gonna sack you. I'm sorry. 
but I like I, I need Rogue to take care of this. Why are you using Recover? All right, you know what? Never mind. Heal Flappy. Try and get uh, Thunderfang Paras on it. What the heck? I think I accidentally hit cancel when I didn't mean to. There you go. Judgment, that's gonna hurt. Dude, Judgment has a cool animation. I like it. I wonder how you work as a- that did so much, holy cow. I wonder how you work as a crystal Pokemon. Cause you don't have, uh, your ability. Which I don't remember what your ability is. Multi-type. So like, what type are you right now? Are you just normal? I mean, you look like Giratina now. I don't know. Wait, what was I gonna do? Run from Arceus? As if. I'm catching this thing. It's the last crystal Pokemon. With this, we'll have all three of them. Giratina, Arceus, and, uh... What the heck is the other one? Regigigas. I'm afraid to hit you with anything. I don't want to accidentally kill you. Let's go for Aura Sphere. Okay, yeah, you are still normal. You better not die to that. Okay, good. One more Aura Sphere will put you in a good spot. Hyper Beam? Why do you have Hyper Beam? Also, wait a minute. How am I affected by normal type moves? I'm a ghost. What is this Omni type? I don't understand it. Oh my goodness, that was a crit. I thought I killed him for a second there. He's got a recharge. Recover, Judgment, Hyper Beam, and then some other fourth move. I mean, we're gonna throw a Snorball first to put you to sleep, and then I'll try an Ancient Ball. Yeah, he immediately got out of that. That's fair. I don't know how I feel about Crystal Arceus' design. Oh, I do have this Master Ball if we need it. But hopefully we can keep this Master Ball for later, and we can pick up that other Master Ball that Rukra tried to use. It's honestly too easy. Yeah, I don't like that Arceus's crystal form just looks like Giratina so much. It's still pretty good. The Insurgent Pokemon. Aw, oh, that's nice. At the beginning of time, it defeated Giratina to become the ruler of the universe. I will not nickname it now. It was stored in box one. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Somehow you're always able to scam your way into the most ridiculous victories. Uh, yeah, sure, if that's how you want to look at it. And somehow you're even able to beat perfection. True perfection. Even the Pokemon who is said to have created the universe kneels to you. I'm done with you meddling kids. I'm moving to a region without you heroes. I can deal with grown-ups. They scare easily. But somehow children and their Pokemon always seem to beat trained adults. Maybe I'll visit Kanto. I'm sure that never happens there. No way any mobster loses to some nerdy kid there. Got some bad news. Someone else will take over the league in my absence, I'm sure. The way things are going, probably another kid. If I were you, I'd go check it out. I heard some champion level strength kid from Veseran was visiting. The way this region is going, they'll probably end up being the champion for your rematches. But chaos, when you get older. Tan was a terrible assistant, but if you ever want to make some money on this side, let me know, huh? There might be a career for you in this kind of thing. I'll be waiting, kiddo. All right, good talk. Is there anything back here? I can't go to the, ooh. Where does this go? Does this just take me back out of here? It's probably a shortcut. I was gonna see if I could go to like the reverse world where Nyx is. No, it just takes you out. Alright, and this is no longer on fire. That's good. We didn't get to talk to every single member of the Timeless once we got through there. Or while we were going through there. There was one member of the Timeless that I didn't recognize that someone told me was from the anime, which to them I replied, I don't watch the anime, it's lame. Pokemon anime is actually just straight up bad. I don't think I can escape rope out of here is why I'm running through all this, by the way. I'm pretty sure if I escape rope, it'll try and take me back to where I just was. Do, do Tesseract. Hold him. Tesseract on out. I want to go back to the Pokemon Center and see Arceus before we call it a day. I'm already at like almost 50 minutes. This is already a stupid long episode. I should have broken it. Before I fought Rukra, I should have ended the video and made it two videos, but what's done is done, I guess. I didn't expect it to go as long as it did. Do 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 do. Let's look at that Arceus. There he is. We have so many legends. Holy cow. I also have Darkrai we didn't look at. Hasty Nature is actually insanely good. Plus speed minus defense. Haze, Dark Void, Nasty Plot, Dream Eater. Nice. 
Your last move was Paris, Sean. Oh my goodness, I absolutely would have used that Master Ball. By the way, I didn't see Rooker's Master Ball, so I guess I wasn't allowed to get it, but I absolutely would have used the Master Ball on this thing if it had Paris Song at any point. I wonder what your ability is when you're uh, not in this form. Mild is plus special attack minus defense, that's okay. All right, well, awesome, we have Arceus now. All right then, we have so many legends, we're racking them up. These ancient balls are great, make it way less frustrating to catch legends. Well, we're done for today. When we come back next time, we'll probably do Damien's quest next, where we uh, go back to Maelstrom 9 and mess around there, probably get to catch Lugia or something since it's making storms, or Kyogre, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time, and until then, farewell.